All right, so this is a simple video uh, to show how to do an overlay or a drop down or a wake uh, like terminal experience. Uh, today we'll be using warp. I'll open that up. I have been using this so I may make sure that all my settings are back to the defaults. Uh, you use the global hotkey window. The default is that it's disabled. I'm going to enable it. The default is that this is empty. You want to click and then set. I'll say I set it to this for instance. You have to press save. Otherwise, it won't retain it after you close it. So I'll put it back to the way I want it. Press save. Defaults are like this. I recommend going a little higher just because certain things can be occluded or not show up um, whenever you have it too small. Uh, of course, these are all configurable to your liking. Also recommended to take this off in the case that you want to interact with your other things, your other, say, browser or IDE, if you want to copy and paste. Uh, without that, or with this enabled, it's going to make your terminal go away. So I'll go ahead and save. I'll close this, and here we are. I'm sorry. Here we are where I have this thing set up so I can have a full screen. Great, you'll notice that this thing is somewhat distanced from the back, and that is because this guy is set to not be hidden. If I set it to hide, then it does it just the very corner. A similar thing happens if I want to enable stage manager, it's gonna cut off right there too. Um, in both, in most cases at least, you can double click here and get full access, but that will be there again whenever you do um, a hide and then I re, uh, to re unhide, I guess is the word, um, <clears throat> your terminal. So there's a different way to do this as well. Uh, the other way to do it is to, again, go down to your global hockey window. You could also have a show hide all windows in the case that, say, you don't want to do full screen <clears throat> viewing. You can go like this, save this here, we'll close this. And if I have a window like so, that's not full screen, then it'll bring up another screen. Oh, also, if I turn off stage manager, it's a little more natural, I guess you could say. Bring it up whenever I need it. But of course, whenever you do full screen, if you were to do a full screen, it just opens it in a whole different, um, a whole different view, which is somewhat jarring because if you were to remove it now, what happened? Now I'm just kind of tied over here. So uh, going back, these are the ways that you can establish. I prefer to not go this direction and always use the uh, other way, which I get lost here, is the dedicated hockey window and keep the auto hide off. So with that, that's how I do it. Thanks so much. Bye.